Well, one of the sort of frightening consequences that I hadn't even realized happened yeah uh after the speeches by hexith and and trump was yeah. and you, you told me this a few days was that it resulted in russia leaving this international treaty on torture conventions yeah but again the here i come to my old motive i repeated it so much of the fact that we are entering a shameless society, that oppressive regimes are doing it openly. Look, I have absolutely no illusion that practically all the states are doing torture. You know, I'm not dreaming. But I think that we should not follow the logic of some leftists. It's even better if they admit it, we at least know how they are. No. If you are openly shameless, it's a, an ethical catastrophe. Because we, you are then, we are exactly in the situation that I refer to of the beginning of Plato's Republic. You argue against torture and they, they don't listen to you. No, now we can torture. Remember that Trump also said this. You remember already, I think even before he was elected the first time, they asked him about how was that called? That soft torture, soft, it is uh, waterboarding. No, how was that called? Waterboarding. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they asked him, what about this? He said, no, this is nothing, much more, much worse, and so on. And we are here. Everybody knows they are doing it. Uh, Israel openly admitting, openly on TV, they are doing it. And now, Russia, we know what they were doing. I mean, there is vast documentation of... I always like this this horrible thing. How should I call it? Poetic aspect, you know, of torture. You know, you the usual torture with electricity, no? And this, uh, the, uh, how do you call it? Electroshocks that with electricity they torture, you know? And the usual painful thing is, of course, they connect electricity with your to your balls testicles if you are a man no and you know how they call this ironically they all have a jargon a phone call with putin that was let's give this guy a phone call with putin you know they were doing it so systematically and so on not to mention stealing children and so on the horror is really the lack of shame. I'm here very much a traditional moralist. I developed already in my last books uh, uh, this point, uh, how uh, Jacques Lacan was right when after 68 he warned the students. He said, you lack shame. You act in a shameless way. In this way you will get a new master who will be even more shameless. And he was right. Like half a century in advance, he saw he saw this possibility of a new obscene master who is totally uh, who is uh, totally shameless. That's the new world. That's the reality of what Putin means uh, when he says one state shouldn't impose on others its values. You know that each state should be allowed to live according to its own cultural tradition and so on and so on. I think we should radically reject this, not in the sense that a superpower like United States should have the right to say others, but I think we are a part of a struggle, a global struggle, which goes on within each country. I believe in our feminist struggle connected with Russian, with Chinese, with African feminist struggle or LGBT or whatever. I, I believe in forms of international solidarity. And what is happening today is precisely excluding this, which is why, if you ask me, I am now even more pessimist than usual. We have United States, who is now enjoying this role of global 
superpower. Okay, but much more important is what is happening with Russia, China, incidentally, now China made it open. You know, the saddest document that I read a couple of months ago was in Geneva even, or somewhere in Western Europe, at some meeting, Chinese foreign minister said officially that it's in China's interest that the Ukrainian war goes on. Russia shouldn't lose because if Ukrainian war ends, then, then uh, Trump will have more power to focus on China. And some undersecretary elaborated this even further. You see, this is what I call brutal pragmatic politics. It doesn't enter into their view uh, uh, who, who is closer to justice, who was the aggressor and someone. No, you have a war and you just think how it affects me. 